Hi, welcome to Acoustic PC's How to Build a Quiet High Performance PC Video Overview. My name is Peter Kappas and today we're going to build a very exciting system equipped with some of the newest hardware and state-of-the-art quiet products. This system can be used for projects ranging from 3D animation to audio video production to high-powered gaming. Now if you're new to building computers, don't be afraid. We're going to walk you through the whole process and show you just how easy it is to build your own quiet PC with the help of Acoustic PC's products. So if you're ready, just kick back and enjoy while we take a look at the products we're going to use for our next quiet high performance system. Alright, here we have one of the newest mid-tower chassis, the Zaman MS1000H1. This chassis is perfect for quiet systems. Zaman includes acoustic dampening on the side panel to help absorb some of the noise coming from inside the computer. The MS1000H1 is built from solid steel construction, which means that there will be less vibrations. Also, this chassis is fun to work with due to its easy hot swappable feature for SATA hard drives. Next up we have our power supply. This is the Seasonic X-Series 750 watt 80 plus gold certified power supply. Now what's special about this power supply and why are we using it in this system? Well to put it simply, this power supply was specifically designed for silent or quiet PCs. This power supply is very efficient, which means that power loss is much lower than normal. And since power loss generates heat, less heat is produced. The Seasonic X-Series 750 watt power supply's hybrid sound fan control keeps the fan off until the overall wattage being used reaches 25%. Even after the fan kicks in, it stays at a barely noticeable 16 decibels till it reaches 50% of the load. This power supply is definitely the way to go if you're looking for clean power and very low noise. Now, since we're building a high performance system, we also need a high performance motherboard, which is why we got the ASUS P7 P55 Workstation Supercomputer motherboard. To go with that, we also got the Intel Xeon X3470 this processor will be great for this build since we're going to work with video and audio production. The downside to these high performance components though is that they can run really hot, especially if they are not properly ventilated. Since we're using the Zaman MS1000H1, ventilation won't be a problem, but the processor's stock cooler will spin very loudly. Since the processor is one of the hottest parts of the PC, it needs adequate cooling. The stock cooler can handle this, but it won't be quiet. This is why we here at Acoustic PC also carry quite high performance coolers like the Thermalright True Black 120 CPU cooler. This cooler has black nickel plated fins and 6 heat pipes for better cooling. It has a copper base to maximize heat transfer between the CPU and the cooler and the fins of the cooler can fit 120mm fans. Now the True Black 120 is a CPU cooler. We use something similar for the video card. This is the Thermalright HR03 GTX VGA cooler. Like the True Black 120, the HR03 GTX has nickel plated fins and 6 heat pipes. In addition, the heat pipes are soldered to every fin of the heatsink to maximize the overall efficiency of the cooler. And speaking of video cards, we're going to use a BFG Tech GeForce GTX 275 video card. This video card is an excellent choice for high end gaming. It has NVIDIA's PhysX acceleration engine and CUDA's parallel processing capabilities. CUDA allows users to accelerate compatible non-graphical applications to increase overall system performance. We're also using LSI's 3-Ware SATA plus SAS RAID controller card with 4 Seagate Cheetah 10,000 RPM 600 GB 6 gigabit per second SCSI hard drives. Now, before I forget, we do have 8 GB of OCZ Gold Series DDR3 memory. And to finish the build off, we have Sony's DVD burner and a Custy Pack sound dampening material. Now that we've looked at all the components we're going to use for our next system, we're about ready to start to build the computer. Stay tuned for part two of this video where we'll turn all these parts into one quiet ass kicking machine. 